a lot of people tuning in here seem to like a good rant. And here's a rant that um, affects me where I am, but I think similar situations exist elsewhere. And it's about public design and, uh, and the term fit for purpose, which means basically that when you make something, it should do the thing that it's meant to do. And quite often, stuff that's built with public money doesn't do the job that it's meant to do for the public who aren't meant to use it. Um, I was reminded uh, recently of a trip I took to a prize home. You know, a, a home you can buy tickets in and buy, hopefully win the prize. And it was a beautiful home. It had this huge central staircase. Uh, it looked magnificent. And the kitchen was on one side of this staircase and the dining room was on the other side. So any trip between the two just had this huge... Uh, semicircular extra walk between the two. It was totally not in the architect's mind that you would want the kitchen as accessible to the dining room as possible. Anyway, uh, Central Station in Brisbane serves a lot more people than my dining room ever has, um, and it's got a few problems. And I noticed one the other day, if you're sitting, you want to sit waiting for your train, um, which you will want to do because the trains don't necessarily arrive on time. Um, on the island platform, that's platform one on one side, platform two on the other side. In the middle, there's uh, quite a few rows of seats, which uh, provides some comfort. But no matter, and I did this experiment, no matter where you sit in those banks of seats, you cannot see a monitor to tell you um, when the trains are coming and where they're coming. And in this circumstance, the trains can arrive on either Platform 1 or Platform 2 and they don't necessarily arrive on time or in the sequence that they're supposed to arrive. So, and the announcements aren't always clear or aren't even necessarily made. So during peak hour, you can choose to sit in some comfort and potentially miss your train um, or you can stand or lean against a wall and wait and, and situate yourself so you can see a monitor so you'll kind of know when your train is coming. Um, and it just seems to me that that's something that somebody should have thought about, is that people who are waiting for a train might want access to monitors that tell them when and where the train is arriving. I would have thought that's quite basic, really. Anyway, it doesn't really surprise me because years ago, a city councillor in this very city uh, was asked to defend the, his use of private vehicles at ratepayer expense to get around his um, constituency. And he explained that he certainly couldn't take public transport on the basis that public transport couldn't take him to all the places that he'd want to go. Well, isn't that a case for improving public transport rather than improving the perks of politicians? But then, what do I know? Thanks for watching. You want more rants like this? Give me a tick, give me a subscribe, give me a few words of encouragement. Bye for now. Doors closing, please stand clear.